Did Apple just dodge a bullet or make the biggest mistake we've ever seen in the tech world? Artificial intelligence is becoming the next biggest thing and Apple was about to contribute to its success. The super company that practically runs the world just pulled out of a massive investment in AI. Yes, you heard that right. Keep in mind that a lot of other companies rely on Apple, its services, and its investments. You'll find out which companies precisely in a moment. But the question is, would investing in something like artificial intelligence have caused a significant setback? Could it affect the reliance on other external companies when it comes to using AI on their software? What about Google? After all, Apple and Google are the top leading companies in tech. So if one starts using AI and investing in it, will the other be affected? So many questions to answer. You'll just have to sit through the end of the video to get the whole story, but... But for now, let's go through some background information like the companies Apple has invested in. And let's talk about why it was such a big deal that they were about to put a lot of money into something like AI, because seriously, it's been years since they've done something like this. First up, Apple bought Next Software in 1997 for $427 million. The company developed hardware and software programs like operating systems. But get this, Apple was playing its cards just right. This strategic move was simply to acquire talent. What talent, you ask? Well, back in 1985, Steve Jobs was kicked out of his own company and founded Next instead. But Apple needed him back because they needed some innovation and strategies for the company to go further and be the next thing. When Apple established itself as the leading tech company in the world, it needed a game changer. Android was a very big competitor and they were one-upping each other with each release. Whether it was a new feature, a better camera, or even a better looking phone, Apple found the one thing that was going to be the stepping stone to a better future. In 2010, Apple bought Siri Incorporated. And yes, it was a separate company on its own. The amount wasn't actually disclosed, but you can imagine it's up there in the millions. What Apple did was integrate Siri's voice-activated personal assistant technology into all of its products. In a way, this is a machine learning tool used in every iPhone. And might I add, it's gotten pretty advanced. After that, Apple was going all out with the purchases. Authentech, a company that specializes in developing fingerprint sensor tech, was bought in 2012 for $356 million. Apple then bought Beats Music in 2014 for a whopping $3 billion. In 2018, it bought Shazam for $400 million. And in 2019, it bought Intel's smartphone modem business for a billion dollars. What's the point of telling you all this? 2019 was the last time Apple made a big decision like that. And when the news about a possibility of the company investing in open AI hit the internet, everyone was in a complete frenzy. Because guess what? Open AI itself is struggling, and in just 12 months, the entire project could go bankrupt. You might be asking yourself, how can the biggest service and AI tool be running out of money if it's in such high demand? You see, that's the problem. We all know that ChatGPT is the biggest tool by OpenAI, and millions or maybe billions of people around the world use it every week. If you're not familiar with what happens in those big offices for providers such as these, they need a lot of money to run. I just know the servers are hotter than the sun right now. Some sources say OpenAI spends up to $700,000 daily to keep ChatGPT running. That's almost a million dollars every day. And as new advancements to ChatGPT, such as GPT-4, are being developed, just know that all of this would cost even more. Want to know the worst part? It absolutely costs more. GPT-4O's launch led to the biggest spike ever in ChatGPT's revenue and downloads on mobile. The startup generates up to $2 billion annually from ChatGPT and an additional $1 billion from LLM access fees. LLMs are basically large language models, or in simpler words, computer programs that can understand and generate human-like text. They're basically super smart digital assistants that can help with a lot of tasks. Further reports say that OpenAI is spending $7 billion on simply training its AI models and an additional $1.5 billion on staffing. But guess what? This hardly covers any of the firm's operational costs. OpenAI and other artificial intelligence tools and software are costing a lot of money. This particular company itself has gone through like seven rounds of funding. Do you know how much money they've received in total? $11 billion. OpenAI is currently valued at $80 billion and rising. 
On top of that, it's running at near total capacity, all thanks to ChatGPT. Out of 350,000 servers, 290,000 are used to run that one website you use to finish all your assignments for college. To keep the company up and rising, it's offering discounted access to Microsoft's Azure services, which is a cloud computing platform created by, you guessed it, Microsoft. It provides a wide range of tools and resources to run your business, both for the people in suits, working in the big rooms on the upper floors of the building, and developers coding their lives away. OpenAI is generating up to $3.5 billion in revenue these days, but there's still a $5 billion loss because of how expensive it is to maintain such a juggernaut of an AI tool. So what's the next move? A lot of companies plan to further invest in the company to keep it running because of how valuable they think artificial intelligence is in the long run. At this rate, OpenAI could be worth over $100 billion. To put things in perspective, it was worth $29 billion in 2020 a year later, it's almost tripled in value. Microsoft is currently OpenAI's largest investor and will be involved in the next round of funding. How much will it invest? Even ChatGPT couldn't answer that for you. Okay, you know what? Just to blow your minds, Microsoft is expected to invest about $1 billion. You think that's a lot? Well, up till now, it has invested up to $13 billion already. Apple engaged in talks to recruit OpenAI's fundraising effort that could have valued the company over $100 billion. NVIDIA, a multinational corporation and technology company that specializes in artificial intelligence, was also going to join Apple in investing in OpenAI's bright future. But what NVIDIA did is something even Apple couldn't pull off. Meet NVLMD72B. Sure, it's a mouthful to say, and could have had a much easier model name, but this is NVIDIA's latest addition to their NVLM 1.0 family of open-source multimodal large language models. Phew, too many long words in that sentence. But talking about 72 billion here, it's achieved to successfully carry out over 72 billion parameters, demonstrating exceptional performance in both vision language and text-only tasks. In simpler terms, this can do what GPT 4.0 can do, but even better. Multimodal training is something that other AI models struggle to perform, but NVLMD 72B has done very well and managed to achieve a 4.3 point accuracy increase on key text benchmarks. The cool thing about this is that NVIDIA plans to give this model to the public for free and also plans to release the training code. These people want the world to know everything about artificial intelligence because they strongly believe it's the future. If this keeps up, GPT-4.0 might as well go extinct. You'll have to Google all your questions instead of ask the AI model. Speaking of Google searches, say Apple invested in OpenAI. This investment, along with Microsoft and NVIDIA, could have had a huge effect on the most powerful search engine tool in the world, right? Look, you need to understand that OpenAI isn't the only AI company out there. It's basically an organization that conducts itself thorough research to optimize artificial intelligence as a tool. Google already uses AI for its search engine, but it's not by the soon-to-be $100 billion company. It uses RankBrain, which is a machine learning-based search engine algorithm. Google has been using it since October 2015, and let's just say its uses are very limited. All it does is help understand search queries and deliver relevant results. OpenAI is the leading AI research company. With all this funding, it's probably going to find something much stronger and more effective. Where does that lead us to? A totally new search engine that's better, faster and more relevant than Google. Did you ever think that we'd be seeing the end of Google? The Google. Plus, Google already pays Apple to be its default search engine on iOS devices. This deal was made back in 2016, which basically agrees to Google paying Apple a bit of its share from search ads revenue in exchange for allowing it to be its main search engine. But get this, this deal is valid up till 2026. Now, a lot of people expected the new partnership to be between Apple and OpenAI because everyone assumed Google would no longer exist in a few years' time. Apart from a failed investment, it looks like Google is already in trouble because Apple has been actively working with OpenAI. After all, these two recently joined hands to kickstart Apple Intelligence. This is a variety of AI features added to some Apple devices to improve your experience. On top of that, GPT-4.0 will be integrated into iOS, macOS and iPadOS. 
these tools will be there to help in photography, editing, and of course, searching things on the web and setting up your algorithms. It'll also be able to do tasks that Siri can't, of course, with user permission. In other words, just because Apple isn't investing in OpenAI doesn't mean there'll be a revenue deficit. You see, the company is projected to exceed $400 billion in annual revenue in 2024. You can thank the launch of the iPhone 16 for the growth right there. But the thing is, it's not just a fancy new phone that'll boost revenue. Apple has improved its hardware and services with features like Apple Intelligence. In fact, some researchers expect a 3% year-on-year increase in hardware revenues, which is a huge achievement after the sharp decline in 2023. But if you look at the bigger picture, Apple Intelligence is getting its fair share of revenue. With features like enhanced writing tools, a smarter Siri and generating your own images, Apple is targeting the user experience and AI is the extra push it needs. Apple has around 2.2 billion active devices on this earth. If 1.4 billion people use it and if say 20% of active users are subscribed to Apple Intelligence at $10 a month, that's around $33 billion a year in an 80% margin revenue. And remember, those are just estimated figures. The actual amount in revenue is probably much, much higher than that. You must be wondering where Google is seated between this strategy that both OpenAI and Apple are planning. Is it still the number one search engine or is that about to change? Well, let's just say the people over at the headquarters better be working overtime in the drawing room. With NVIDIA's new AI model, I'd suggest people over at OpenAI do the same. Artificial intelligence research is actively rising, and with enough funds, investors and shareholders, it's probably going to be the face of technology. Whether you want to admit it or not, AI is the future, and it's about to affect every other company before we know it. Search engines, digital assistants, and even picking your personalized algorithms can all be made more seamless with the help of AI, with or without Apple. In a few years' time, the future of open AI looks to be fairly bright, as long as it plays its cards right. What are your thoughts on this AI tug of war for power? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to leave a like, and hit that subscribe button to see more content and we'll see you in the next video.